today's video, I'll be showing you how to test and replace a circuit breaker. You can see here on this circuit breaker, it is in the trip position. Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to turn it off and try to reset it. Now, you can see this one's really hard, which indicates to me that it's already having issues internally. So here, I'll turn it to the off position. You can see as soon as I turn it on, it trips right away. Sometimes you'll do this multiple times and what will happen is it'll continue to trip. There's many reasons why a breaker will trip. It could be due to a short, uh, some type of issue as far as over amping. But here you can see I put it to the on position. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to test your circuit breaker. I want to show you what the reading is. If it's in the on position, you should have voltage coming in at the circuit breaker when you take your reading with your multimeter. Here I have my leads on the bottom breaker. This is the good breaker. You can see I'm at 120 volts. The only time I shouldn't have any voltage is when the circuit breaker is bad or if I de-energize it by turning it to the off position. Here I put the breaker in the off position and you can see I do not have a voltage reading. I turned it back on and you can see I have 120 volts. Now as I said, this breaker is in the on position and when I take my reading, I do not have any incoming voltage. This indicates to me that the circuit breaker itself is bad.